Hey guys, hope everyone's day is going well, and in today's video I'm going to be doing a review on the extremely popular Offset Yo-Yo's variant. Let's jump right in. Alright, so I gotta give a quick shout out before the video starts to Brandon Vu for sending me this yo, -yo or should I say yo-yos, stay tuned to the end of the video. But he sent them all the way across the country, which is insane, so yeah, thank you very much Brandon for sending me the package all the way from where you live. Alright, moving right along, let's get into the history of this yo-yo and what it really is. So this company, Offset Yo, is co-owned by Brandon Vu, I'm sure you guys know him, he's quite possibly one of the best yo-yo YouTubers ever, and his company just released this brand new plastic yo-yo in collaboration with with Magic Yo. So yeah, it's basically just this collaboration, Offset Yo-Yo plus Magic Yo. They made this plastic yo-yo and we're gonna see how good it is. Alright, so let's look at the unboxing. So this yo-yo comes in a pretty dope and like clean box. On the top it has the variant logo, which is really sick, and then below that Magic Yo-Yo X Brandon Vu. And then on another side of the box we have this little like kind of presentation of the yo-yo and that's about it for the box. Opening up, we've really just got the yo-yo, some string, and that's about it. Alright, so here are the specs of this yo-yo. As usual, I'm going to bold any of the specs that are irregular in any way, just so you guys can get a brief understanding of that. Alright, so in regards to the specs, everything is kind of irregular to be honest. We have a 66 gram weight, which is a little bit on the heavy side. Then the diameter is actually 61.2. That is gigantic to say the least. It's almost as big as like some of my Austrian goes, which is really crazy. And then the width, I'd say, is pretty normal. In regards to the material, this is a really like durable polycarbonate. You can just feel it. It's just a really solid feeling yo-yo. But yeah, that's about it for the specs. In regards to the color, I really, really honestly like it. It's kind of this like cloudy, clear color. It's like a translucent color, but it's really cloudy, which is really nice to see. As for the finish, it's kind of hard to describe. It's a bit, it's kind of like the halfway between glossy and matte. It's just, it's kind of has a weird feeling to it and it's hard to describe. We'll talk more about that in the grind section of the video. Now, looking on over to the shape, we've got a very, very angular and kind of like dynamic shape. There's some very sharp edges with a very steep slope down to the bearing and some more like cuts that lead down to the bearing. It's definitely more of a, like a competition style shape. And then looking on over to the cup, it's pretty simple I'd say. I mean there's this big ridge which is where all the kind of rim weight is stored and then just this bowl right there. In the center it says variant on both sides with this like logo and that we'll talk about more about how that affects finger spins later in the video. In summary I think it's just a really cool looking yo-yo. Very angular to say the least and very unique. Alright so now the feel of this yo-yo. To start it is really really nice. The best way for me to describe it is like the Skyva but just on steroids. It's so so stable and powerful off the bat. It's got an extremely, extremely long spin time. It's just like overall like extremely solid, especially for a plastic yo-yo. I found it's also very maneuverable, so you can definitely change direction really quick and perform all of your kind of like fast tricks. So it's a really nice feature to see. It's not just stable and solid, it's also very maneuverable. I'd say whips and slacks are also really, really nice. I mean, the shape is really accommodating for all of that. It's just a very angular shape, so it makes sense why you can nail all of those. Tech tricks, I'd say, are just okay. I mean, this yo is really big big in size, so if, when you're getting to like more of the complex string configurations, it can be a little bit difficult to nail some of your tech tricks because it just kind of like lands on multiple strings or just like, it's just so bulky. For horizontal, this yo-yo is really good, I mean, I it makes it all makes sense, this yo-yo is such a powerful and extreme yo-yo, so you can nail all your horizontal combos. For grinds, I'd say this yo-yo is pretty good, I mean, the finger and palm grinds can definitely be done, but the finish is just like, it's a little bit sticky, I'd say. You can definitely perform them, it's just they won't grind as long as like some of the other yo-yos that have been released. Thumb grinds cannot really really be done to be honest. The way the ridge is shaped, it'll just slide right off your thumb. However, talent grinds can be done, um, but like I said before, the finish is just a little sticky for that. Finger spins, I'd say, are probably the best grind to do with this yo-yo. I mean, even though that there's that engraving right there and it's flat capped, the finger spins can still be done with like a fair amount of ease, so it's really not too bad for that. Now, let's get into the thing that I think is most valuable about this yo-yo. This yo-yo is just 
$21 and that price is amazing for a plastic yoke. I mean, and this is a really, really high quality yoke. It's so durable, it's so stable and extreme that I was really impressed that they've got this price at $21. It's, I just really like to see yoyos on the cheaper side that are also really good because it just makes sense. It allows players to buy yoyos that won't break the bank but will still perform to the best of their ability. Right now I think this yo is sold out on the Offset Yoyos website but I'll put the link down below just in case it comes back in stock there. In conclusion, this is just a really, really high performing yo-yo from Brandon Vu and Magic Yo. It's just a really dope collaboration. They've made a really, really strong plastic yo-yo. It's really intense, it's very unique, and it's nothing that I've really seen before in a plastic yo-yo. It's a very solid yo-yo to say the least, and I don't think anyone will regret picking one of these up. Now let's get into this giveaway. So, Brandon Vu did not only send me this one yo-yo right here, but he also sent me a blue variant. So this is completely unopened. This is a brand new variant. And I just want to give one of these guys away to one of you. So literally all you have to do to win this blue variant is just comment something down below. You can comment as many times as you want. So for every comment, that's one entry. And you can literally comment as many times as you want. I really don't care. And so yeah, in I think about a week for one of my next videos, I'll put at the very beginning, you know, who here is the winner of the giveaway of the variant. And so you guys can see who won. But yeah, literally that's all you have to do. Just comment down below, I'll put it into a random comment generator, make it fair for everyone, and we'll see who wins this blue variant. Again, shout out to Brandon Vu for sending me both this yo and one for you to give away for you guys. That is super, super generous of him. But yeah, that's about it for my review of the Offset Yo-Yo's X Magic Yo-Yo variant. If you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like, and also if you guys are new here and haven't seen my videos before, definitely hit that subscribe button because I post videos just about every single week. I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Peace.